Hi everyone, I am Aida Tapdasan. I am under Teach USA. I am in my fifth year. I started Teach USA through Facebook. I can mature, Ma'am Gemma. And wise. From my professional teaching, I learned a lot from strategy, from, from, uh, because in the Philippines, I was so workaholic that I don't have time for my family. So I spent time from 7 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I went home uh, as early as 7 o'clock in the morning. Worse is I will go home 9 o'clock in the evening. No, 7 o'clock in the evening and or 9 o'clock in the evening. There was a time I went home 12 midnight. So I have less time of, uh, for family when I was working in the Philippines. But now it's like 8 o'clock in the school, 3.30, up to 3.30. By 3.45 or 3.50, I'll be at home. I can spend more time with my family and kids. And I can cook for them, which I never did in the Philippines. And then as, as a, that's as a spouse... As a mother, then as a teacher professionally, I have I know how to manage time already, because uh, in the Philippines, you know, we're used to like taking taking paperwork at home, do checking, but I never do that here in the United States. I get the chance to do it in school rather than rather than doing it at home. And my first year here, 2018, 2019 school year was kind of hard. I get a lot of um, um, culture shock homesickness, a lot of challenges because I always believe everything is difficult before they are made easy. So it's really very hard from the beginning. And then 2019, everything is easy. I've already started to gain confidence in myself, get back to my feet. And then 2020, pandemic hits, I get pregnant. It was very hard and I really plan to have a baby because I keep on asking him, maybe we could have a baby girl. So I just asked him if we could have one last chance. If it's a boy, then that would be the last. So I did not, I did not have a pregnancy for, for waiver. I had that because I wanted to have at least for the last time. So I have three kings already. One is the U.S. citizen and now we're excited to go home. And the one thing that I am more excited is to share the knowledge that I learned here in the United States. Talking about, is it worth it to, to, to exchange my permanent position teacher in the Philippines? So before that, I would say there is no permanent in this world. The only constant in this world is change. So I embrace change. I did not uh, regret because based, uh, uh, based on the experience of my teacher in the Philippines, she quit teaching for 28 years and she only get 250-ish K plus pesos. While here, if you're going to retire five years, you will earn thirty thousand US dollars, and that's the one point five million without savings. Hiring teachers, don't be afraid to gamble because it's really a win-win situation for you and for your family and for your future as well. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> One thing I would like to thank also Mom Cora, Mom Gemma, and to my cousins Sir Jason Rakoma for all. I cannot mention everyone, but um, I know who they are, and they know who they are too.